Hello there and welcome. I just want to show you my latest acquisition. Um, it's a three spined stickleback, and it's a female, I believe. Um, I found this actually, well, I say found it, it came in with a bunch of feeder shrimp. So it was a complete accident, and uh, she came in alone as well. We don't actually have any more sticklebacks um, at my work. So I decided to adopt her. Um, had her for about three weeks now. She's living quite happily with four really bright red cherry shrimp. The tank is um, an old style fluval spec with quite a nice um, light that I bought. I have a review of that in my channel. Um, but the fish itself was in marine water so completely salt water, um, as were the shrimp, and I managed to acclimate her over onto fresh water. It took about eight hours to do that. Um, since then, she's been pretty happy in uh, in fresh water for the last three odd weeks. So one of the cool things about sticklebacks, three spine sticklebacks, is they can live in fresh water, salt water, or even brackish. They're actually migratory. Um, there's tons of different species of them um, Some live in landlocked lakes some live in coastal areas and rivers they you know there's a lot of different types of stickleback and um, We've actually used quite a lot in research for uh, Evolution I went to Nottingham University and they were using these guys because they vary so much in their morphology um, from lake to lake they were using them to measure evolution in action I guess to see the differences and how they um, best give an advantage for these little guys to survive where they're living feeding wise um, pretty much I've managed to get her onto um, dried flake food I'll just put a little bit in now you'll see that she's pretty happy to take that I was surprised because from what I've read they only take um, you know, blood worms and stuff like that, but she's pretty keen after a few days to take that, and that's just Tetra crisp, normal fl um, crisp food. As you can see, pretty, pretty happy. She did begin spitting it out at first, but once she got the taste for it, there's no stopping her. So I know these are schooling fish, and you know, I would love to get some more of these um, either we'll get some more by mistake in our feeder shrimp or I'll go to the um, fish shop down my road and see if they can get some in they're fairly common in Britain so I shouldn't have a problem temperature wise you're just at room temperatures so they are actually a cold water species and they can go up to about 20 degrees quite happily the cherry shrimp um, have been at room temperature since I set this tank up which is well over two or three months ago so they're pretty happy there's not a lot going on in the tank there's a bit of wood some cryptocorin and some uh, java fern I'm probably gonna decorate it a bit nicer and I'll um, you know if anything changes or I get a, another one I'll keep you updated on this little girl so thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed and happy fish keeping